Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a lead magnet funnel by simply following a series of steps that GetResponse outlines for you. If you'd like to follow along with me, I will put a link in the description. If you click that, you can actually get a free account for GetResponse for testing out a lot of their features. Let's begin. So once you're actually in your account, you want to click on the tools section. And then if you go down a little bit, there's going to be conversion funnels. It'll say like, do you want to create a new one if you haven't created any yet? And then you're going to get taken to a page that looks very similar to this. Under build a list, there's going to be lead magnet funnel. So let's click on create. In here, you're going to want to put a name for your funnel. And keep in mind when you do this right here, it says the name you set up here will also be the name of a list we create for you with new contacts. So give me a second. I'm just going to create a name. Okay, so quick lead magnet funnel. Let's click on save and continue. All right, so here's the cool thing. GetResponse actually comes with a few lead magnets, which is going to be very helpful, especially if you're kind of in like the marketing uh, niche or business, I guess you could say. So if you scroll down here, there's going to be a few, whether they're just kind of like pictures where it shows you how to build a funnel or some of these are more so going to be eBooks, 10 steps to understanding content marketing. That one looks good. Is your email list dirty? Uh, how to use digital ads to grow your sales for mostly a lot of online business stuff. However, I understand and I'm sure GetResponse understands that not everyone using GetResponse is going to be in the kind of online marketing field. So you can actually add your own lead magnet here. I'm not going to do this, but it's very easy to follow along. Obviously add in the file name. You have the description, short description. You can add in the image and of course the file right there and then do add and go to funnel. So overall, let's go to use an existing lead magnet. And there was a content marketing one here I liked. Where was it? 10 steps to understanding content marketing. I'm going to click on this to select it and click save. And that's going to be the first step. So first and foremost, let's move to the second step. We want to do get more signups. So we're going to click on create signup page. And we're just going to go down the line pretty much for all of these. So let's click right here. And given the fact we're going to be creating lead magnets, it selects the templates for us that are related to this. For this, I'm just going to use this one here. And I'm just going to give it a name of lead magnet sales funnel. Obviously, you can choose whatever you want there. It's up to you. Next step. Okay, and for this, I don't want to take a lot of time focusing on aesthetics. This is more about how you set it up, but I can give you some good tips and pointers here. Just scrolling through, this is a much longer uh, lead magnet landing page. I like keeping them much shorter. So what I actually want to do is pretty much delete almost everything that isn't the top there. Uh, and what I can do is kind of move everything up because for me personally, in all of my testing and experience, the simpler the landing page and usually the shorter, the better it's going to be. They don't have to scroll around. They reach the page. They know exactly what they can do. They can either opt in or leave. Uh, and I kind of like that. So give me a sec. And from here, I'm just going to cut out the rest where I delete this and I'll show you what I ended up with. All right, so here's what I ended up with. Remember how it was a much longer landing page? Down here is kind of where your terms of service, your privacy policy, or maybe contact information would go. But overall, this is where you fill in your headlines, kind of be like a sub headline, a little bit more, maybe a benefit. And then of course, our call to action. Like I said, very simple. When they arrive on this page, they know they're going to be getting some type of lead magnet, obviously, because your headline talks about it. And you let them know that you just need to enter your best email below. And then of course, they can do that. Click here to continue. What I want to do is just save this real quick. And we're also going to have our thank you page. So you can go right here, click on that. So can just delete some of this. I'm going to move this up. Once again, uh, the aesthetics part is going to be up to you. So I'm going to keep a lot of this here. And as it says, let your new contact know they'll be receiving an email with a download link. Also, it says you could also ask for the new subscriber to follow you on social media or view other offers on your website, which is a great idea. The thank you page is uh phenomenal quote unquote real estate where there's a lot of options that you can utilize here. Maybe you want to go to a webinar. Maybe you have some other type of free video. You want to get them to a Facebook group, subscribe to a YouTube channel, uh, maybe a webinar. I'm not sure if I said that. Maybe an affiliate link or a different offer or a coupon or a discount, whatever it's going to be. So while they're waiting that minute, 30 seconds, sometimes 10 seconds, whatever it is, you give them something to do there. But either way, let's just click on save. Once again, that's going to be up to you what you put there. I'm just showing you how to set it up. Let's click on next step. Okay, so we have lead magnet sales funnel. If you want to add in the description, that's fine. It's going to have the URL there. If you want to add in your own, that's going to be cool too. Default thank you page, which is what we showed there. And that looks pretty good to me. If you want to add anything else, that's kind of the minor details like analytics and remarketing is where your Facebook pixel is going to go. I have a separate video about that. So if you need any help with that, um, let me know. Leave a comment down below and I will link you to that. Let's click on publish. All right, cool. So next we're going down the line. Now we have a download page. So this is going to be different from a thank you page. What happens is once they opt in, they're going to get an email in the background, which is specifically for accessing their download link. So let's click on create a download page. And I'm just going to go with this one because it's the same type of template, same synergy, same color. But thank you page. Next step. 
All right, cool. We don't need a logo. You know, kind of remove this stuff you don't want to use here. Move this up. Tell them the steps, including any information or confirmations they need at this point. And then click below to download the file. So the cool thing it says here will show you the file uh, you want to share with your contacts. So they have to actually opt in. You know, go to the email, click on the button, and when they do, it's going to populate here, which I think is really cool. Regardless of which lead magnet you use, whether it was your own or you know someone else's, or get responses is what I mean. Either way, you can change that around how you want. Let's just click on save. Click on next step. Okay, once again, we have the title if you want to add a description, same thing here with the URL if you wanted to add an actual domain, if you wanted to do analytics and remarketing, but that looks good. Let's click on publish. Great. And just like that, that's going to be the download page. And of course, the download link email. Let me show you what that looks like. It's just very basic. Hey, friend, thanks for signing up. We're happy to share this resource with you. Download now. That's where they get taken to the page. Uh, also, keep in mind, if you want to change that around, you can edit the page or the email here. This is how you're going to do it. Obviously, you might want to just spruce that up a little, make it a little bit better. It is pretty plain. But the cool thing about this, this is where you can kind of go into the autoresponder series after that, where you can follow up much more, you know, starting with day zero and going on and so on and so forth. But what I want to do is actually show you this uh, opt in and give you an example of what it looks like. So if I click on this, yeah, I just have it in an incognito window. I'm going to enter in my email address. Okay, so there we go. It said thank <laughs> them for signing up. Obviously, I didn't edit that much around. And it says let your new contact know they'll re be receiving an email with the download link. So what I'm going to do is open up my email, click on that, and I will show you what the page looks like. Give me one sec. All right, and I clicked on the link in the email and it took me exactly where it needed to go. Obviously, it populated with the lead magnet we had originally uh, chose. So 10 steps to understanding content marketing. What is content marketing? Download our free guide and learn how to become an excellent marketer in 10 easy steps from establishing goals to tracking the right metrics. And if I click on download, you're going to see it's going to be right there. I can open it up there. But that's the idea when it comes to setting up a get response lead magnet funnel. I hope you got something out of this. I hope that helped you out when it comes to following the steps and being able to do do that on your own. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't gotten to check out GetResponse, there will be a link to a free account in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.